The following is a special presentation from the WTNS Sports Department. Steel is vital to modern life, and Cleveland Cliffs Coshocton Works is proud to make some of the most advanced steel in the world. Their people and products continue to be the backbone of American manufacturing, and they are developing solutions for a clean energy future. Best yet, Cleveland Cliffs Steel is sourced and produced right here in North America. Cleveland Cliffs Coshocton Works is proud to sponsor this high school basketball broadcast. To learn more, visit clevelandcliffs.com. Thank you very much, Ellen, and we are at the Wigwam. It's Coshocton New Lex. We'll be back. This is high school basketball and WTNS Coshocton. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation of Coshocton provides personalized health care that makes a difference. If you've been suffering from neck or back pain, chiropractic care is a non-invasive treatment that can help you feel better. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation is proud to provide patients with advanced physical medicine. This type of rehabilitation is focused on enhancing and restoring the functional abilities of those suffering from physical impairments. To schedule your appointment, call Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation at 291-8100 or stop by 112 Chestnut Street in Coshocton. Claxon Custom Printing and Promotions is a proud supporter of high school athletics. Contact Casey Claxon or Judd Bone at ClaxonPrinting.com for printed t-shirts, embroidery, and branded promotional products for your booster club or business. They can also help your team set up an online fundraising store to sell your team apparel to fans all across the country. Visit ClaxonPrinting.com or call 740-623-2145. Coach's Corner is brought to you by the Ensley Insurance Agency. For auto, home, business, and life insurance, call 740-622-1111. That's the Ensley Insurance Agency, 433 Walnut Street, Coshocton. The Ensley Agency is proud to be a part of this high school sports broadcast. We support the student athletes on the team and the students in all extracurricular activities. Hi, I'm Todd Ensley. In fact, your good student may qualify for discounted auto insurance rates. We can provide you with homeowner's insurance and life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance. Insure both of us and save even more. For a no-obligation quote on auto, homeowners, or life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance, call the Inslee Agency at 622-1111. My guest on Coach's Corner, James Herman, the head coach of the Coshocton Redskins. Redskins come in with a record of 14 and 6 on the season. And Coach, have been, been kind of a good stretch for you. I think 5 of 6, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 5 of 6 or 6 of 7 even. Actually, if you go back a little further, we, we I don't know if you've noticed this or looked at the schedule this way, but we've won 3, lose 1, 1, 3, lose 2, 1, 3, lose 1. You know, so... Uh, this is number three in this streak, so hopefully it comes through. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, Meadowbrook. I know it was a game that uh, you felt pretty comfortable with going into it. Um, everything seemed to go your way early, especially defensively. You know, I saw that halftime score. They only allowing six points in the first half. That's pretty stout. It was pretty impressive. We've been obviously working on our defense double time now because it's playoff season and you want to do anything special, it's got to be done on the defensive end. And I was really proud of the guys in the first half. And they just sat down and it really wasn't even our press. Uh, I mean, we turned them over 18 times in the game, but it wasn't our press. It was more of the half court, things we're working on to get prepared for the playoffs. All right, let's talk a little bit about, about the opponent this evening. Uh, New Lexington comes in, good good team. Uh, and he ended up winning your in the lower division, 17-3. Uh, uh, and three. They have a couple kids that can hurt you. But what can you tell us? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you they're 18-3 and three now, and this is their last game. They are the number four seed out of 30-some in the Southeast District, uh, and rightfully so. They are a very, very good team, and this no better time to be playing them than now getting ready for the playoffs. You know, yeah, I, 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 it's a good point. I was going to bring that up as well. You know, I think sometimes it's good to play somebody of that caliber when you're getting ready to get hit, get into the playoffs. Absolutely. I mean, regardless of what happens tonight's, you know, that one of those last dress rehearsals for the the big dance, and uh, obviously we want to win this and make sure they understand that, you know, they may have won the conference this year, but they need to be ready for us. You know, again next year, but uh, it's a, they're a great team, very well coached, and they defend 
man, do they defend. And every time that we've played them, that's where we struggled is in our ability to score. So um, we not only have to defend them, but we got to turn around and handle their pressure. All right. There's also a lot of things going on here at the Wigwam this afternoon. Uh, you know, Colton Conkle, two points shy of 1,000, and, you know, just an outstanding major milestone for that young guy. It is. Uh, it's a major milestone. It's great for the program. It's great for the community to celebrate it. Uh, but it's the last thing on his mind, which I love. Uh, you know, he wants to get this over and done with because, you know, it, it is important for – for family and friends and the community and the program. But for him, he, he can take 20 assists and be just as happy. He just wants to make sure we win. Uh, so we're not thinking about that on that respect. But on the other side, because it is for the community and the family, I mean, we've got our 1,000 point, all of our 1,000 point scorers, or the majority of our 1,000 point scorers is going to be coming in tonight to, to celebrate them as well. Yeah, I really think that's a really, a really, really great deal. And, uh, you know, in fact, I'm looking forward to seeing some of those guys myself. It's been a while for a lot of them. I always think it's important for our guys to realize, you know, we get so hung up in now and what we're doing and we think it's all about us. I mean, that's a normal teenage kind of thing. I want them to understand the history of Coshocton basketball. And you know what? It's been here a long time before them, and it's going to be here forever after us. You know, we're just a small part of something bigger than us. All right. Last thing I want to know is uh, is keys tonight. What do you want to accomplish? Get get, get this victory. Uh, defend, 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 defend. I mean, in that defense um, is pace of play. Uh, if you remember back to when we played them early in the year. We really struggled. They're definitely a different pace than us, and they were able to control that pace. Uh, we've done things over the season, and we're going to see how well those things have worked no matter what the pace is. We've had a few games lately where the pace hasn't been where we necessarily wanted, wanted it, but we've been able to be successful. Tonight's the ultimate test to make sure we can play any style and still come out with a victory. All right, health. Everybody ready? We're ready to go. Good deal. Appreciate your time. Good luck here this evening. Good to have WTNS in the wigwam. All right, we'll be back. This is High School Basketball on WTNS. Coach Hockton. Coach's Corner has been brought to you by the Endley Insurance Agency, 433 Walnut Street in Coshocton. Call the Endley Insurance Agency at 740-622-1111 or go to EnsleyAgency.com. I'm Stacy Rice from Coshocton Collision Center. Winter driving can be hazardous, so be careful when you drive and the weather turns bad. If you have an accident, come to Coshocton Collision Center. We use the latest environmentally friendly paint products from PPG. We put you the customer first by using these products to preserve our environment. We complete auto body repairs as promised, offer free computerized estimates, and guarantee our work. For all your body repair needs, come to Coshocton Collision Center, 225 Main Street in Town Center, Coshocton, across from Wilson's Carpet and Furniture, or call 623-7347. Jeff Drennan Ford is your destination for the largest selection of new and pre-owned vehicles in the county. If we don't have what you're looking for, let us know and we'll go find it. We also have a large selection of certified vehicles. A certified vehicle gives you peace of mind on your purchase with a better interest rate, three-month, 3,000-mile warranty, 24-hour roadside assistance, and a 14-day money-back guarantee. Stop by Jeff Drennan Ford and experience the difference for yourself. With the largest selection of new and pre-owned vehicles in the area, there's no reason to drive out of town for your next vehicle. Shop 24-7 at jeffdrennanford.com or stop by 801 South 2nd Street in Coshocton. Think you have to settle for mediocre car insurance to save money? Think again. It's possible to get superior coverage and still save money with Erie Insurance. Customers who switched to Erie saved up to $951. It pays to compare. Switch and save with Erie. Your local Erie agent in Coshocton is Albertson Lawrence Agency. Get a quote today. Annual savings based on new customer survey to March 2022 who reported savings when switching auto insurance. Individual premiums and savings will vary. Coshocton Dentistry offers professional, state-of-the-art dental care in a small-town practice. Dr. Brian Dunlap and Dr. Patrick Lopper and their entire team are dedicated to educating you with the help of digital technology to give personalized dental care that you deserve. Their 80-20 club celebrates their practice mission with over 115 members this fall who are over 80 years old and have 20 of their own remaining teeth. Keeping your teeth for a lifetime in maximum comfort 
function, and aesthetics is achievable as the mission states. Coshocton Dentistry is currently accepting new patients. To schedule your appointment with the local professionals at Coshocton Dentistry, give them a call at 622-5774 or stop by 448 Main Street in Coshocton. Visit their website at coshoctondentistry.com. Sierra Pacific windows and doors are MRV Siding Supply. Their products enhance any decor and make any home brighter, more inviting, and more comfortable with all wood windows in nine wood species with 59 exterior colors. Whether you're replacing, renovating, remodeling, or rebuilding, they have exactly what you're looking for. From their Sierra Pacific Transcend replacement windows and doors to their Westchester double hung windows, that's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys, MRV Siding Supply. 14 and 6 up against New Lexington, their record 18 and 3. New Lexington won, has won the uh, lower division of the MVL with that outstanding record. So we're expecting a good ball game here this evening. This is also another special night as to we'll be honoring the 1,000 point club in Coshocton High School basketball history. And one of those, the subplots of it is Colton Conkle. Conkle comes in with 998 points in his career, one basket, and he'll join that elite crowd at 1,000 points and uh, they'll be doing uh, some special type something special at halftime to recognize those people who have come back to be here this evening taking a look at other games in the area tonight or uh, today actually Ridgewood defeated Tusky Central Catholic 54 44 so Ridgewood closes out their season with a record of 5 and 17 on the season taking a look at the MVL and how things stand uh, in the upper division, Maysville and Tri-Valley uh, actually tied for the league, but Maysville right now with a better record of 18-3. and three. They still have one game to play. Tri-Valley finished the regular season 18-4. and four. John Glenn comes in 13-7. and seven. Sheridan is 12-9. and nine. Riverview is 6-15. and 15. Philo, well, actually, Philo moved ahead of Riverview with that way, beating the Bears last night. They're now 7-15. and 15. Riverview is 6-15. and 15. In the lower division, New Lexington is 18-3. and three. Coshocton comes in with a record of 14 and 6. West Muskingum is 8 and 13. Morgan 7 and 11. Crooksville 5 and 15. Meadowbrook is 1 and 18 on the season. In the IVC, uh, in the upper division or the northern division, Indian Valley won the regular part of the season with a 17 and 3 record. Highland was 15 and 5. Sandy Valley 15 and 6. Garraway was 12 and 8. Tusky Valley 9 and 10, Claymont is 7 and 11, Ridgewood had finished their campaign 5 and 17. In the South Division it was Malvern, they are leading the way at 19 and 0, Buckeye Trail is 14 and 4, East Canton 14 and 6 on the season, Strasburg 7 and 12, Connaughton Valley is 7 and 13, Newcomerstown 5 and 14, and Tusky Central Catholic is now 4 and 16 as they lost earlier today. Alongside me is going to be Chris Wallace tonight and Chris you know it's a big ball game it's a delayed game from a week uh, from last night but uh, you know we saw New Lexington early a very good defensive team they get up in you and they have some big kids out there on the floor. Absolutely uh, I don't think anybody expected as much snow as we got last night so we'll play this game on Saturday but a big crowd on hand and a lot of familiar faces in the building kind of nice to honor all those thousand point scorers here in the history of Coshocton basketball, but uh, yeah, big game. Got to see New Lex earlier in the season, a very talented team, a very big team, and they can score the basketball, and they are going to come out and full court pressure you as well. So uh, a big game tonight indeed, and, and I'm really looking forward to these two teams, uh, you know, matching up here at the end of the season. All right, we'll get back after the national anthem and get to the starting lineups. This is high school basketball on WTNS Coshocton. Tax season just got a whole lot better at Jeff Dren and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Turbocharge your refund with incredible deals like fifteen thousand off Jeep Gladiators, fourteen thousand off Ram Heavy Duties, and over ten thousand off a Ram fifteen hundred regular cab. Upgrade your ride without breaking the bank. Hurry in today at Jeff Dren and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Otsego Avenue and drive home with a little more left in your pocket. Shop twenty four seven online at Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Coshocton and remember, if you're looking for a new ride, Storm tell them. It's time to talk to my uncle Seth. 
Companies are investing in Ohio every day. Invest in yourself and get the training you need to land the job of your dreams or enhance your skills this year. Buckeye Career Center is now accepting full-time adult education applications for our 10 programs that begin in August. We are also enrolling for our winter adult diploma program courses, including automotive brakes, automotive electrical electronic systems, Ohio commercial pest control, drone license preparation, STNA, and more. Call 330-339-2288 to learn how we can help you get your high school diploma for free. This is the Mouse Man from RAM Five Point Auto Sales, and we're rocking this season. We have a large selection of clean, newer vehicles to fit everyone's budget. If you drive by the Five Point Light and don't see what you're looking for, stop and let us know. We'll go find it for you. When you buy a car from RAM Five Point, we take care of your vehicle for the life of the vehicle. We'll wash your car every two weeks for as long as you own it. At RAM Five Point, eleven o two Chestnut is where your driving dreams. Come true. At Domino's Pizza in Coshocton and Newcomerstown, we have new items available on our mix and match for delivery. Get these items for only six ninety nine when you buy two or more medium two topping pizzas or any of our multiple side items. All of these great options are only six ninety nine each delivered to you when you buy two or more. Keep the entire family happy and order what they want with our mix and match deal. Call the Coshocton Domino's at six two two nine three four five. Or in Newcomerstown at 498 4131. Great care is closer than you think at Coshocton Regional Medical Center. I find it really rewarding to work here because I know that the care I provide will directly impact this community. It gives me a great sense of pride to be able to give back the health care that I got while I was a patient here. When the people come in, we know them by name, and that means so much to a patient when we can connect with them, and I know that they know they're loved. Care for our community starts at Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. If you own a farm, you know that a one-size-fits-all insurance policy isn't a smart way to do business. I'm John Ionello, your American National Insurance Agent in Coshocton, Holmes, and surrounding counties. American National can provide you with a flexible farm package that allows you to customize a policy to match your individual needs. Call me at 740-295-9460. Because while you know your business, we know how to help insure it. And welcome back to the Wigwam. The starting lineups are brought to you by R.J. Wright & Sons, a locally owned family business offering a full line of ag diesel, lubricants, and gasoline. You can't go wrong with the right fuel. Taking a look at the visitors, the new Lexington Panthers. At a guard position, a 6'2", junior wearing number zero, Jarek Braglin. At a guard position, a 5'10", freshman wearing number four, Lane Ratliff. At a guard position, a 6'1", junior wearing number five, Isaiah Stevens. At a guard position, a 6'2 sophomore wearing number 12, Paul Stinson. And at the forward position, a 6'3 freshman wearing number 34, Eli Stevens. Now the home team in tonight's contest, the Coshocton Redskins. At a guard position, a 5'11 senior wearing number one, Antoine Johns. Another guard position, a 5'11 junior wearing number two, Colton Conkle. Another guard is a six foot junior wearing number three, Logan Lonsberry. The forward position is a six foot senior wearing number 22, Gage Wright. And at the center position, a 6'2 senior wearing number 33, Kobe Moore. The starting lineups have been brought to you by RJ Wright & Sons, an industry leader in providing complete residential and commercial fuel needs. RJ Wright & Sons has locations in Newcomerstown, New Philadelphia, and Caldwell. Coaches in the ball game for New Lexington, Jeremy Dewar. They come in with a record of 18 and three on the season. For Coshocton, it's James Herman in his second year. They come in with a record of 14 and six. Coshocton now is just about to complete their introductions and we're just moments away from getting things started. A little bit earlier start than we anticipated. 
Uh, we thought maybe right around 5.30 or so, but JV game went fairly quickly, so we're ready to go. Yeah, looking forward to getting this one underway. Again, a good crowd on hand and uh, honoring all those 1,000-point scores. Nice to see some of those faces haven't seen in this gym for a few years, Coos. Yeah, it really is. It's, we're going to run down at halftime uh, the list of the 1,000-point the scores and tell you who actually is here. And, you know, I've seen a good bit of them. There's 11 as we speak, and um, when Colton Conkle can get that first basket and get the 1,000, he'll be the 12th member of the club. Okay, both teams have hit the floor. We're just about ready to get things underway. Antoine Johns will be jumping against Eli Stevens. And officials, now we're ready to go. Ball's in the air and controlled by Conkle and Kishockton. New Lex can play some solid defense. Moore has it out front. Dribbles to the right wing, picks up his dribble. Now goes back cut to Conkle and the ball's deflected and turned over. It's deflected nicely away. So with the basketball will be Isaiah Stevens. Stevens runs the point. Goes over the right side with the basketball, Ratliff. Tried to get it down low to Stevens, and it turns over, and Lonsbury has it. So both teams with an early turnover. Conkle, out front it goes to Johns. Johns penetrates, picks up his dribble, skips it out to Lonsbury. Lonsbury to Conkle on the left wing, now to the center of the floor. Now just kind of looking to see what's going on. He'll back it out and reset the offense. He's been defended by Stenson off the dribble. Picks it up, doubles it. Lonsbury's going to let a long triple go, and he hits it. Logan Lonsbury, once he got that confidence about six, seven games ago, has shot the ball well. 3-0 Kishockton with the early lead. Off the dribble, trying to get inside Ratliff. He puts it out in the grab, and he loses it and turns it over. Coming up with the basketball is Lonsbury. Lonsbury crosses over, gets the high pick. Now to Conkle. Conkle off the dribble, works to the right side. Hanson Lonsbury thought about it. Now resets the offense to Conkle. Conkle steps back for three. That's off the back of the rim, and Lonsbury rebounds the rebound. Oh, beautiful pass inside. Now they give it to Gage Wright, who scores a basket. Five to nothing, Kishockton with the early lead. Good ball movement inside. The Redskins have that lead, and New Lexington. Had a player getting his shoe tied. Now we're ready to go. That was Isaiah Stevens. So Stevens will bring it across the timeline. Works to the left wing, picks it up, gives it outside to Eli Stevens. Eli and Isaiah. Ball stripped and stolen away by Conkle. Conkle behind the back, goes in, puts a shot up in. There's 1,000. Colton Conkle has done it, 1,000 points, and he does it early. And if you have the, taking a look at the round, if the cameraman can get it, a lot of 1,000 signs in the, sta in the stands right now. And there'll be a little bit of a delay here while he gets his picture taken with his parents. Give and game ball as well. Game ball, it's a nice, nice gesture. I had about three people come up to me uh, today and ask me, how do I think he's going to get his 1,000th point? And everybody's conclusion was a steal and a basket <laughs> in classic Conkle fashion. Great steal and uh, headed the other way and a nice finish. It's a really nice deal right now. Getting a lot of pictures. Boy, a big game here tonight. And I'm as happy as he is, I'm sure he just wants to get back out there and put a few more up on the board. <laughs> this is the worst part of it right here. <laughs> Picture time, family time, stopping the game, game ball, but well deserved. Got one of those good smiles going. All right, there it is, and Colton Conkle has 1,000 career points, and Kashokta now leads it seven to nothing off to a good fast start. And that'll be New Lex ball, 6-10 to play here in the first quarter. Shockton out in front, 7 to nothing. Stevens will bring it across the timeline, works left wing with the basketball is Bragland, back to Stevens. Guarded by Johns, now tries to penetrate, then trouble, now he backs it out. Still in trouble, 
Should be a five second, but didn't call it. Back out front it goes, trying to cross over into the corner, trying to get baseline. Skip pass out, there's gonna be a wide open triple look and knocking it down is Isaiah Stevens. He can shoot her. We saw him earlier in the year. Seven to three the score, Lonsbury has it. Gives it to Johns, Johns into the corner to right, back out to Conkle. Conkle off the dribble, penetrates, skip pass over to Kobe Moore. He steps back for three, off the rim, no good, and Ball is deflected out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Kishokton. So with the basketball, it'll be Colton Conklin and Kishokton. Looking. Now he gives it up to Lonsberry. Lonsberry with the ball, dribbles out to the center of the floor, dribbles over to the left side. Gives it to Kobe Moore. Moore in the corner. Tries to get inside, skips it down low. Ball is lost by Conkle and picked up by Stevens. And with the basketball is, is Isaiah Stevens. I'll get this as good. And now his brother throws a long three. That's no good. And Conkle rebounds it. Shot was missed by Eli Stevens. Conkle rebounded, brought himself inside it goes. Antoine Johns gets it back out to Lonsberry. Lonsberry to Moore. Moore off the dribble. Has the ball almost stripped and stolen away, but he got it to Lonsberry. Lonsberry off the dribble. Still dribbling high on the right side. Now backs it out. Now crosses over, tries to get baseline. Picks it up to Conkle. Conkle sets a three ball on the way and no good. Rebound comes down to Eli Stevens. Stevens hands the basketball off and coming across will be Isaiah Stevens. Stevens. Penetrates, thought about it, now gives it up. There's a three ball from way downtown. That's going to be good. Hitting that three is Lane Ratliff. So now a 7-6 game, pair of threes for New Lex. Conkle has it, gives it up to Lonsbury. Lonsbury to Johns, now to Conkle. Conkle looking. Pass all the way across. There's a three ball by Lonsbury, and it's good. Assist Conkle, Logan Lonsbury, the pair of threes. He's got six, makes it 10 to six. Slowly bringing it up is Isaiah Stevens. Stevens left wing with the basketball. Was Braglin now into the corner. There's a long triple. That's going to be off the back. No good. Rebound Lonsbury. Shot was missed by Isaiah Stevens. Lonsbury hands it off, gets it back. He lets a long triple go. This time it's no good and rebounded by Eli Stevens hands the basketball off and with the ball bringing it slowly across the timeline, it's gonna be Isaiah Stevens. Stevens right wing to Stenson. Stenson back out front with the basketball, Braglin. Braglin left wing goes to Stevens, back to Braglin. Braglin right into the corner it goes and just working the perimeter as Ratliff has it. Now back it goes to Stevens. Stevens little up fake, now he'll get a good look at the three balls. Gonna be no good, ball batted around out of bounds and it'll go to Kishokton. Braglin missed the three ball. And checking in will be Bentley Hansen and somebody else gonna see number 22, Malachi Thresher is in. And Bentley Cunningham checked in for the Redskins. First time we've seen him this season. Yeah, he's played the last couple. So he's finally been cleared to play. So Conkle has it. 2.45 to play here in the first quarter. Alex Taylor is also in for Kashokton. Working left side it goes. Back out front to Conkle. Conkle penetrates inside. Now to Taylor. Taylor dumps a beautiful pass inside, but it goes off the hands of Antoine Johns. 10-6, Kishokton leads with 2.35 to play here in the opening quarter. With a basketball will be New Lex. Kishokton now applying a little more full court pressure. With a basketball, Braglin gives it up to Hanson. Hanson gets across the timeline, guarded by Cunningham. Now hands it to Stevens. Stevens, Hanson tries to get inside, little fadeaway jumpers, good. Bentley Hansen has his first basket. He has eight points. Down the corner to Taylor. Taylor inside, skips it, stops, good. Nice move by Alex Taylor, got in a low block, scored the basket. 12-8 to score. Stevens will bring it up for New Lex. Goes right side, tried to dump it down in the low block. Thresher, little four shot up, missed no good, and, and rebounded comes down to 
Toby Moore gives it to Conkle. Now to Antoine Johns. Johns to Moore. Out front it goes to Cunningham. He's going to let a long triple go off the rim. No good. Ball's batted around, and Kishokton gets it into Taylor, and he scores it. Alex Taylor. To Alex Taylor. Johns got the assist. 14 to 8, 130 to play here in the opening quarter. Kishokton with a six point lead. Stevens with a basketball. Off the dribble. Has to pick it up. Now penetrates inside, and he scrambles inside. Mad dash, and Cunningham comes up with, I think, he does. Now to Conkle. Conkle brings it off the dribble, looking. Hands it to Johns. Now it goes to Cunningham. Cunningham out front to Kobe Moore. Moore off the dribble. Backs it out and hands it to Conkle. Conkle guarded by Hanson. One minute exactly to play here in the first quarter. Conkle picks up the dribble, goes into the corner. Now dumps a high lob into Kobe Moore, a little fadeaway jumper, back iron no good. Rebound comes down to Dulex, and grabbing that rebound was Lane Ratliff, and he hands it to Isaiah Stevens. 40 seconds to play here in the opening quarter, 14-8. Stevens, now they look going to a 1-4 set. Looks like they may try to play it down the last shot. Out front's Braglin. Braglin, shocked in no hurry to come out and play. Just holding it, so they're looking. They're definitely playing it down to the last one. Braglin, a couple dribbles to the top of the key, backs it all the way out to the timeline. Now they reset with 14 seconds. They give it to Stevens. Stevens off the dribble. All the way into the corner. Has to go upside to Hanson. Hanson steps back, lets a three ball go. No good. Inside, battling around, and they can't get it. And I think there's a foul call. A couple offensive rebounds by... Malachi Thrasher. So Thrasher was fouled. And picking up that foul was Bentley Cunningham and shooting two will be Thrasher. This will be the first free throw of the ball game for either team. Thrasher, his first throw is good. He'll try to hit the second hand. J.J. Herman checks in for Kishokton. His throws up, that one in and out and back in. So Thresher gets it, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So after one, the score is Kishokton 14, New Lex 10. We'll be back. This is high school basketball on WTNS, Kishokton. Sierra Pacific Windows and Doors are MRV Sunning Supply. Their products enhance any decor and make any home brighter, more inviting, and more comfortable with all wood windows in nine wood species with 59 exterior colors. Whether you're replacing, renovating, remodeling, or rebuilding, they have exactly what you're looking for. From their Sierra Pacific Transcend Replacement Windows and Doors to their Westchester Double Hung Windows, that's MRV Sunning Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at mrvsunning.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. McWayne Ductile is proud of all students in their academic pursuits. Whether through sports, the arts, or in the classroom, it's important for students to be challenged and to achieve success as they gain real-life experiences. Students who learn the value of goal setting and working with others will be more prepared for their next chapter in life. McWayne Ductile is pleased to be part of this community and is proud to help sponsor this broadcast. 14-10 the score. Kishokton leads by four. We're getting ready to start period number two. It'll be new Lexington ball when we resume action. The Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's player of the game. Tonight's player of the game receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger in order of their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. There's the whistle and Period number two has begun with the basketball out front. Will be Bentley Hanson. Hanson looks at the right side, looking inside now, backs it out. That goes out the top of the key with the ball is Ratliff. Ratliff guarded by Taylor, left wing to Hanson, tries to go in the low block to Thrasher, and there's going to be an offensive foul. Lowered that shoulder a little bit and got picked up the offensive charge, so it'll be Kishokton basketball. Turnover number four for New Lex.
Conkle brings it down. Looks down to go baseline, puts up the shot on the rim and in. Conkle takes it basically coast to coast and scores, makes it now 16 to 10. Hanson will bring it up for New Lex. Right side almost fumbled away by Ratliff. Now he goes left side with the ball of Braglin. Braglin off the dribble. Tries to get all the way to hoop and does and scores the basket. Nice little hesitation move and Jarek Braglin gets his first basket. Makes 16-12, 7.07 to play here in the opening half. Conkle on the right wing, hands to Lonsberry. Thought about it, now picks it up. Goes out front to Cunningham. Cunningham off the dribble, behind the back, trying to penetrate inside and turns it over. Turnover number four for Kashockton with the ball is going to be Hanson, left side to Braglin. Braglin just working the perimeter to Hanson, high on the right side. Now gives it up, Braglin working left side it goes. There's gonna be a long triple, by the front of the rim no good. Ball rebound down to Lonsbury. Shot was missed by Ratliff. Conkle has it on the wing, tries to get inside, skip past the Lonsbury, steps back for three on the front of the rim, no good. And rebounds run down by Corey Adam. Gives the ball to Bentley Hansen and he'll bring it across for New Lex. 16-12, 6-12 to 6-15 to play here in the opening half. Hansen left wing it goes. With the basketball is going to be Ratliff. Ratliff still has it, now he goes out top to Braglin. Braglin, right wing to Adam. Adam looking, goes left wing and Conkle with the steal. Conkle goes down, little step through and scores. Conkle with a steal and a basket, now has six points. It's now 18 to 12. Hanson will bring it up for New Lexington. Hanson out front, the top of the key, tries to get all the way to the hoops, get pass out to Adam. He's gonna take a shot, it's gonna be short, and Lonsbury with another rebound. Lonsbury brings it across for Kashockton on the right wing to Conkle. Conkle off the dribble, now hands it off to Lonsbury. Lonsbury backs it out, and gives it to Conkle. Conkle has the ball deflected, but he gets it over to Herman. 5-18 to play here. Herman to Cunningham. Cunningham trying to get inside. A little fadeaway jumper is going to be short, no good. Herman gets the offensive rebound. Now he dumps it down to Cunningham. Cunningham steps through, puts up a shot, missed it. And this time the rebound to Corey Adam. With the basketball is Hanson. Gives it up on the right wing to Ratliff. Then just working the perimeter. Braglin, Hanson in the corner. Dumps it down low, in trouble. Puts it up, missed the shot. Rebound comes down to Cunningham. And gives it over to Herman. J.J. Herman with a basketball at to Lonsbury. Lonsbury looking now to Conkle on the right wing. Conkle squaring up. Now backs it out and restarts to change it up in a little bit and gives it off to Herman. Herman, right wing to Cunningham. Cunningham dribbles out front, still dribbling down the right wing and he's gonna be bumped and fouled. That's gonna go against Braglin. And New Lex will get both the Stevens back plus Paul Stenson. The Shockton will get Antoine Johns and Gage Wright back. Also checking back in is Kobe Moore. Dumps it down to Kobe Moore. Moore guarded. Little spin shot on the rim and rolls off and rebound to Stevens. Isaiah Stevens has the basketball, crosses the timeline with four minutes to play here in the opening half. Top of the key to Stevens, and it's stolen from behind by Antoine Johns, and he just goes up and lays it in. Nice steal and hoop for Johns, his first basket of the night. Shocked him now by eight at 20 to 12. 345 to play in the first half. Right wing to Hanson. Hanson out front to Stevens. Isaiah Stevens guarded by Conkle. Tries to go all the way to the hoop, has to pick it up. Now dumps it down low. Hanson missed the shot and Moore rebounded it. Rebound it comes to Conkle. Conkle will bring it for Kashockton. All the way across to Kobe Moore. Moore trying to get inside. Oh, oh that one called an offensive foul. That'll be his first, team's first. And the ball goes over to New Lexington. 
Yeah, it could be more kind of lower to shoulder, but defense wasn't in position, but I think probably the lower the shoulder and really trying to get to the basket's the call. Isaiah Stevens has the basketball, goes right wing to Hanson. Hanson into the corner with the basketball, Stenson. Stenson loses it, another turnover New Lex, their seventh here in the first half. Comes Conkle with 3.05 to play. Conkle off the dribble. Out to Antoine Johns, left wing to Gage Wright. Wright looking, now gives to Conkle. Fake the shot, now dribbles, penetrates, picks it up. Now hands it off to Lonsberry. Lonsberry backs it out for Kishokin. Gets the high pick, works down the left side. Now back out front, it goes to Conkle. Conkle hands it to Antoine Johns. 2.42 to play in the opening half. 20 to 12, Kishokin with an eight point lead. Conkle, right wing, it goes to Gage Wright. Right to Lonsberry, thought about it, now penetrates and gives it off to Johns. Johns inside, forces his way in, scores it. Antoine Johns, strong move to the hoop, got the basket, 22-12, 2.22 to play in the, first, in the first half. With the basketball, Kishonkton's Hanson. Hanson, left wing, Braglin. Braglin tries to get all the way to the hoop, and he's gonna be bumped and fouled by Antoine Johns. Only the second team, um, team foul. Now Alex Taylor getting in, J.J. Herman in, Lonsberry and Conkle taking a break. And for New Lex, Lane Ratliff will come in and checking out will be Paul Stenson. So with the basketball, New Lexington. Bentley Hansen out front, foul line, little jumper by Isaiah Stevens, missed it and rebound Gage Wright. Right to J.J. Herman, two minutes to play here in the first half. Herman slowly brings it across for Kishokton. Out front, now looking, now goes left side to Antoine Johns. Johns dribbles to the top of the key. Out front it goes to Herman. Herman, bounce pass, tried to force it inside and took out my partner. <laughs> Went down to right down the... Uh... <laughs> Right down uh, the turnover there and took a shot to the face with the ball. <laughs> wow, microphone still intact, so I think we're all we're good. good. Teeth are still there. Yeah, that'd be my worry. <laughs> <laughs> so Kishokton with the basketball. Gage right, right in front of us will be the inbounder. Looking, high lob pass and not a good one by Gage Wright. Turns it over. And trying to force his way in, Stevens. Uh, he steps through and misses the shot, but Herman fouls. Coach, Coach Herman wants a walk. Put him in, let's go. So at the free throw line, Isaiah Stevens has the, the triple for three points. 22-12 our score with 135 to play here in the first half. The lefty's first throw on the rim and no good. Logan Lonsberry's gonna get back in. And Gage Wright will step out. So Isaiah Stevens will try to split the pair. His second one is good. He hits the second. So he now has four points in the ball game. Herman. Off the dribble to the right side. Hands it off to Lonsberry. Lonsberry gives it to Taylor. Taylor steps back. Now to Lonsberry. Lonsberry has a 117 to play here in the first half. Herman to Taylor. Taylor looking, has the ball to bat it away, and it'll be a turnover for Taylor and Kishokton. And Isaiah Stevens will slowly bring it across the timeline. Into the corner, wide open triple look is gonna be good for Lane Ratliff. Makes it 22-16. Under a minute to play. Cockle to Herman. Herman off the dribble, hands it off to Lonsberry. Lonsberry looking, guarded by Hanson, now dribbles to the right side, gets the high pick, gets it into the corner, dumps it down to Lonsberry, trying to force his way in, looks and gets back out to Moore. Moore under shoulder now to Herman with 25 seconds to play here in the opening half. Herman has it, and they're gonna follow Powell on Stevens. Only the third, so it'll be a side out of bounds. Antoine Johns will be getting in. For Taylor, 20 seconds to play, and 
We've got a 30 second timeout, so we'll stay right here. The Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's Player of the Game. Tonight's Player of the Game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. 22 16, Kashokton with a six point lead in the ball with only 20 seconds to play in the first half. Yeah, Kashokton brought the ball up with about 47 seconds left here in the second quarter, and they were calling for one shot. And Kind of got a nice look to Lonsbury down low, but just couldn't force his way up. So they are going to take care of it, call the timeout, and see if they can't draw something up here again. 20.7 seconds left. Six-point lead. See what they draw up here. Definitely looking to get one, maybe get Conkle a three-pointer here at the buzzer. All right, and New Lex has already hit the floor. Now it'll be Kashokton, and it'll be Antoine Johns, the inbounder, right in front of us. Official blows the whistle, and, he and Antoine Johns has the ball. They'll go all the way down. It goes to Kobe Moore. Moore will slowly bring the ball up with 14 seconds to play here in the opening half. Moore off the dribble. Gets the high pick, still dribbling. Now he picks it up. In trouble. And got it to Antoine Johns. Johns goes in, puts up the shot, but Stevens blocks it out of bounds with three seconds to go. So let's see what they call here. They're going to get Alex Taylor in with his size. I can see that. Looks something maybe around the rim. Herman will be the inbounder with 2.9 to play. Two point nine. Now they got to go. High lob pass into Taylor. Puts the shot up at the buzzer. Miss it. And Antoine Johnson with a tip. And that's the end of the first quarter or first half. After one half of basketball, the score, Kishokton 22, New Lexington 16. We'll be back with a halftime report. This is High School Basketball on WTNS, Kishokton. The Kishokton Opportunity School is a credit recovery dropout prevention high school that started in 2006. In 2022-23, the Opportunity School had a four-year graduation rate of 87.9% and earned the state report card rating of exceeds standards in all areas of graduation. They offer the state-required core curriculum, a career-based instruction program, and several electives including art, life skills, parenting, and relationship building. If you are interested in applying, please call 740-622-3600. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Pearl Valley Cheese, located right here in Coshocton County, has been making award-winning Swiss cheese since 1928. They also make naturally smoked Swiss, baby Swiss, and lacy Swiss, along with Colby, Marble, Pepper Jack, Chipotle Pepper Jack, Farmers, Jumping Jack, and Lacey Baby Swiss. When it comes to cheese, nobody does it better than Pearl Valley Cheese. Visit their retail store on State Route 93. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or Saturday, 9 to 4 p.m. Sierra Pacific Windows and Doors are MRV Sunning Supply. Their products enhance any decor and make any home brighter, more inviting and more comfortable with all wood windows in nine wood species with 59 exterior colors. Whether you're replacing, renovating, remodeling, or rebuilding, they have exactly what you're looking for. From their Sierra Pacific Transcend Replacement Windows and Doors to their Westchester Double Hung Windows, that's MRV Sunning Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at MRVSunning.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys, MRV Siding Supply. Coshocton Regional Medical Center now has two new walk-in clinic locations in Warsaw and New Comerstown. Our providers can get you back on the road to recovery with a quick walk-in visit with no appointment necessary. Experience the ease of taking care of your health on your own schedule by visiting one of the conveniently located walk-in clinics in Warsaw or New Comerstown. For more information, visit KashoctonHospital.org. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most.
When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Did you know Wits of Coshocton has lunch specials for under $5? This includes shredded chicken, grilled cheese, BLTs, or chicken salad sandwiches. Enjoy a delicious footlong coney, bag of chips, and a 12-ounce drink for only $3.50. Check every Monday for the new weekly specials as well as the custard flavor of the week. On Tuesdays, all scoops are half price. Wits Frozen Custard is open Monday through Saturday, 11 to 8, and Sunday, 12 to 8. Wits Frozen Custard is now located inside the Coshocton Coffee Connection at 750 South 2nd Street. You're listening to WTNS, and it's now time for the Halftime Report. Bradford Financial Group is proud to sponsor tonight's Halftime Report. Bradford Financial Group provides wealth and protection strategies for your financial health. Call them today at 740-622-3347 or visit them at 636 Chestnut Street in Coshocton. We're back. It's halftime. I just had introductions of all the 1,000 point scores at Coshocton High School. And as Colton Conco is the newest member of this group, there's 12 total members and taking a look, run, running right down at how they rank point-wise. Number one was Tom Sandry with 1,510 points. Brandon Taylor is second with 1,257. Dave Brown, 1,149. Jason Hamilton, 1,130. Gavin Williams, 1,126. Andrew Mason, Mason, 1,031 points. T.J. Dar, 1,017. Jack Saxton, 1,016. Rydell Chrisman with 1,006. Dave Ziegler with 1,004. And last but not least, Dave Shutt with 1,002. The newest member now on that group is now Colton Conkle as he hit the 1,000-point mark in early in the first quarter. Taking a look at the how it happened here in this first half. Uh, well, first of all, in the JV game, Coshocton defeated New Lexington 54 to 37. Coshocton led at the end of the first break 14 to 10 and led at ha- and then lead at halftime by a score of 22 to 16. Taking a look at individual scoring first for New Lexington. They were led in scoring by Lane Ratliff, who had six points on a pair of three-point field goals. Isaiah Stevens has four points. Two points each for Jarek Braglin and Bentley Hansen, and two points for Malachi Thresher. That is the 16-point total for New Lexington. For Coshocton, they are led in scoring in the first half by two players. Colton Conkle had six points in the first half, along with Logan Lonsberry with six points. Also getting involved, Antoine Johns and Alex Taylor. They had four points apiece and a basket for Gage Wright. That's the Coshocton total of 22. Now with the first half team numbers, here's Chris Wallace. Thank you very much, Coos. As you mentioned, Coshocton up at the half against New Lexington, 22 to 16. From three-point land, New Lex is three of nine, shooting 33%. Coshocton is two of eight, shooting 25%. Two-point field goals, New Lex is 2 of 9, shooting 22%. Coshocton is 7 of 12, shooting 58%. From the free throw line, New Lex is 3 of 4, shooting 75%. Coshocton has attempted zero free throws in the first half. In the rebounding department, it's Coshocton out-rebounding New Lex 13 to 10. And turnovers, New Lex has 7, Coshocton with 8. Well, I'll tell you what, it's just, uh, you know, it's really been a more of a deliberate game, and we expect it after New Lexington. They're going to take their time and work for that good shot. But Coshocton has managed to play the first half, have played that type of basketball and have been pretty patient themselves. You take a look at turnovers in that first half. Both teams, have been, well, Coshocton with eight, and they had about three of those late and seven for New Lexington. Yeah, New Lexington, a, a very good defensive team, and they, uh, you know, as much as they like to get out and run, they'll definitely slow things down and get that quality shot. Coshocton is doing a great job, caused a lot of turnovers, getting some points off turnovers, and, uh, you know, as mentioned, zero free throw attempts in the first half, so really, ha- I mean, obviously haven't gotten to the line, so uh, not a lot of down low action, but a lot of it's coming from uh, outside shots and 
a lot of screen and rolls outside of the three-point line and some good shooting here in this first half. Uh, exactly the pace Kishokton wants to play and, uh, you know, did a little bit of full-court pressure there and it, it did well for Kishokton. So we'll really see what this second half and maybe even see full-court pressure from both teams. But, again, uh, New Lex not really trying to get out and run, really just getting that quality shot and slowing down. Yeah, that's now it's halftime, and the Kajakton leads at 22 to 16. We'll be back and get things started here in the second half. This is high school basketball on WTNS Kajakton. Everyone at Reed Family Dental is proud to sponsor this high school sports broadcast. Our goal at Reed Family Dental is to create an environment where patients feel comfortable, know that their concerns are being heard, and trust they're receiving quality care. Our office is located at 229 South 4th Street in Kajakton. To schedule an appointment, please call us at 740-622-5695. Be sure to visit our website at rfdkashocton.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We hope to see you soon. In the nation, we know how it feels when a company doesn't treat you like a priority. You feel small. Or worst of all, like you're just a voice in a crowd. At Nationwide, we put members first. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. To join the nation, call Scott Boyer in Coshocton today at 740-622-2131. Subject to underwriting guidelines, review and approval. Availability and details vary. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates, Columbus, Ohio. Jeff Drennan Ford is your destination for the largest selection of new and pre-owned vehicles in the county. If we don't have what you're looking for, let us know and we'll go find it. We also have a large selection of certified vehicles. A certified vehicle gives you peace of mind on your purchase with a better interest rate, three-month, 3,000-mile warning, 24-hour roadside assistance, and a 14-day money-back guarantee. Stop by Jeff Drennan Ford and experience the difference for yourself. With the largest selection of new and pre-owned vehicles in the area, there's no reason to drive out of town for your next vehicle. Shop 24-7 at jeffdrennanford.com or stop by 801 South 2nd Street in Coshocton. It's halftime and Coshocton is out in front of New Lexington 22-16. Coshocton has returned to the floor. They'll come out with Lonsbury, Moore, Conkle, Johns, and Wright. New Lex just breaking the huddle. They'll come out with Braglin, Stevens, Stenson. See also Brady Hansen's coming out. And Logan Ratliff. And now we're ready to go. Kashockton has the basketball. And with the ball is going to be Conkle. Conkle works to the right wing, picks it up, and hands it to Lonsbury. Lonsbury off the dribble to Johns. Johns out front. Gives inside to Moore. Moore stops in trouble. Picks it up. Goes out to Lonsbury. Lonsbury off the dribble to Conkle. He's going to let a long triple go from deep and bangs it home. Colton Conkle from deep downside. And it's now 25-16. Nine-point Coshocton lead. Isaiah Stevens walks it up for Nulex. Stevens hands the ball outside to Braglin. Braglin dribbles back to the left wing. Out front Stevens. Right wing it goes to Ratliff to Stevens. Stevens into the corner, wide open Hansen for three. That's going to be off the rim, no good. And Lonsbury rebounds it, wanted to run, but backs it down a little bit as New Lex gets back. Johns has it to Lonsbury on the right wing. Lonsbury off the dribble. Now crosses over and goes all the way to the rim, little scoop shot, and he's going to be fouled. Nice little move by Logan Lonsbury, not known for going to the basket, but did that time and drew the foul. Yeah, it was a great first step by Lonsbury of getting to the basket and draws the contact. So Conkle will be the inbounder. Shockton runs 1-4, crossed high. Looking down low to right. Ball is deflected out of bounds by New Lex. No, they're going to give it to give it to New Lex. So it must not have gone off the back of the New Lex player. So turnover to Shockton near ninth of the ball game. So Isaiah Stevens has it. 6.50 to play here in the third. 25-16, Kishokton with the lead. New Lex for the ball. Stevens, he'll take the long triple from way downtown. That's going to be no good. Inside rebounding, losing it. Conkle with a steal. Stole it from Hanson. Conkle would get him down, takes it himself, and scored and missed the basket. But there's Antoine Johns. He's going to be fouled by Stevens. So Conkle that time caught New Lex napping a little bit, trying to get back, and rushed it down the floor, missed the shot, but Antoine Johns was right there to gobble it up, and he'll go at the line to shoot two. This will be the Redskins' first free throw of the ball game. 
Antoine Johns gives it a couple of spins and knocks down the throw. He has five points in the ball game. Corey Adam in four new legs. Gage right out and Alex Taylor back for Coshocton. 6.32 to play in the third quarter. 26-16, largest lead for Coshocton. And that was no good and rebound comes down to Stenson. Stenson hands it off to Hanson. Bentley Hanson brings it across the timeline, goes right, right side. Now they back out to Hanson. Now trying to decide what they want to run, and he hands it off to Ratliff. Ratliff, right wing to Corey Adam. Now he goes out to Shockton playing a little zone right now. Adam has it. Just working on the perimeter. Still looking. Picks it up. Adam now in the corner. Ball is deflected, almost stolen. It is stolen away by Antoine Johns. Johns backs it out and gives it to Conkle. Conkle scoops, missed the shot, but they're going to call Johns for a travel. So turnover number 10 for Coshocton compared to nine for New Lex. 5.52 to play here in the third quarter, 26-16. Coshocton with a 10-point lead. With the basketball, Lane Ratliff. Left wing goes to Hanson. Ball's inside, ball most stolen away. Trying to get inside, but can't do it. Now in trouble. And throws it away. Now Conkle beats everybody. The loose ball goes down and scores the basket. Nice steal for Antoine Johnson. He pushed it ahead to Conkle, who scored the hoop. He's got 11 now. Now it's 28-16. Hanson trying to get inside. Little shot's going to be short, and Kobe Moore rebounds. And gives it up to Conkle. Conkle rushing it down for Kishokton. Gans to Lonsbury. He's going to step back from way down. That's going to be an air ball short. Rebound came down to Stenson, and he gets it over to Corey Adam. Corey Adam gets it across the timeline. Right side it goes to Ratliff. Ratliff over to Hanson. Bentley Hanson with the basketball. Now they give it out front. Working left side is going to be Braglin. Now into the corner to Hanson. Trying to dump in the back door, and they throw it, throw it away. Turnover number 11 for New Lex. Stevens is, both Stevens are back. Adam and Stinson out. So Coshocton has the ball up 12 at 28-16 with 440 to play here in the third quarter. Herman gives it up to Johns. Johns out front to Taylor. Taylor. To Moore, Moore back to Johns, now to Herman. Herman with the basketball. And we've got a foul. Picking up that foul will be Lane Ratliff. Only this third team foul. Fourth 24 to play here in the third quarter. Herman will be the inbounder. They dump it down low post to Conkle. Conkle, a little fadeaway jumper, good. Nice move, and Conkle fades away and gets the hoop. Has 13 in the ball game now. Now 14-point lead for Kishonkin at 30-16. Stevens all the way to the hoop. Scoop shot's good. Nice move by Isaiah Stevens. He now has six points. Herman will bring it for Kishonkin. J.J. Herman. Backdoor cut to Kobe Moore. Scores the basket, and he's going to be fouled from behind by Braglin. It's a nice cut by Moore, and he gets his first hoop. Good give and go. Yeah, it was a nice cut, but an even better pass to Kobe Moore with a great finish there at the end with the contact. 32 to 18. Kobe Moore will try to finish the three-point play. And if winter driving presents itself hazardous, make sure you get your vehicle fixed the right way. Brillhart's Body Shop will give you the quality, attention to detail, and satisfaction you deserve when getting your vehicle fixed. Give Brillhart's Body Shop a call at 622-0121 or stop by their new location at 2702 South 6th Street in Coshocton. And miss free throw, and New Lex has come the other way. Dumps it down low to Hanson. Now to go to Stevens, forces his way in, got the basket. Eli Stevens with his first hoop of the night. Makes it 32-20. Herman backs it out to Johns. Johns to Conkle wide open. They lost him somewhere, and he drops it home. Hard to believe you leave, of all the people, you leave him open. Conkle with nine in the quarter, has 15 in the game. 34-20. Shockton staying with that zone. 
into the corner, now out front. Taking a look at it was Braglin. Now he thought about it. Now goes to the corner. That's going to take a three ball, and that's going to be good. Hitting that shot was Lane Ratliff. That's his third triple of the game. Herman being pressured and gives it up to Antoine Johns. He dribbles over to Moore. Moore in the left corner with 2.50 to play here in the third quarter. 34-23. Moore, well, there's an off-balance shot in and out. No good. Rebound Stevens. And with the basketball be Isaiah Stevens. That was Eli Stevens to Isaiah off the dribble. Goes all the way down. Little jumper in the lane. That's good. Isaiah Stevens leading a little run by New Lex here late in the third. Quickly the other way is Alex Taylor, and he scores the basket. Taylor with six points. 36-25, 2.18 to play. Shockton likes to run. New Lex likes to sit back and watch a little bit. And we've got a whistle, and New Lex wants to talk about it. So we'll stay right here. The Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's player of the game. Tonight's player of the game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. 36-25, 2.14 to play in the third. Yeah, Shockton, as you mentioned just a minute ago there, doing a great job running the floor there. And I noticed uh, I went down to look at the stat, and I had to look up or write the stat down and look right up. And uh, Alex Taylor shooting the layup. So Shockton really getting out and running here. And as you mentioned, New Lex, uh, not necessarily their style of pay, play, really like to slow it down and, and uh, earn a good one, if you will. But still playing some great defense other than leaving Colton Conkle kind of wide open on the wing there for a pretty easy basket for him. But uh, still pretty solid defense, and uh, their on-ball pressure is very good. I think that's the reason they got that timeout because I think that they had two transition baskets back-to-back -back with Conkle and Taylor and wanted to get that rectified. So where the basketball will be, Ratliff. Ratliff left side, it goes. Working down low. Still working out front. Gets it out front. There's going to be a long triple, and that's going to be good. Hitting that triple is going to be Paul Stenson. His first basket of the night, 36-28. And it'll be a foul, and picking up that personal foul will be Braglin. That'll be the fifth, or Herman will be shooting free throws. Isaiah Stevens will be in. And after the second throw. So it will be Antoine Johns as well for Coshocton. So J.J. Herman at the line to shoot two. Looking for his first point of the evening. His first throw is good. <laughs> Alex Taylor going to get right back in two for Cunningham. 37-28. Shockton with a nine-point lead, 144 to play here in the third. Herman's second throw, back ironed it no good, ball on the deck, and coming that rebound is going to be Lane Ratliff, and he hands it off to Isaiah Stevens. 37-28 with the basketball, Eli Stevens trying to get inside, now picks it up, now throws it over. It's handled by Isaiah Stevens. Stevens off the dribble. Picking up that personal foul be Antoine Johns. Team second. His second. Corey Adam will be the inbounder. 126 to play here in the third quarter. With the basketball out front, it's going to be Lane Ratliff. Ratliff dribbles. Has almost taken away. He's got to Isaiah Stevens. He backs it all the way out. Now they switch back off. Johns takes him. Now he tries to penetrate inside, and we've got a whistle. And then I believe Gage Wright's going to pick up a personal foul. Tried to double team and got him on the arm. Now they go out front. Ball's tipped and stolen away by Conkle. Conkle down. He goes up, missed the shot, and is banged into the deck. He'll shoot two. Fouls on Stenson. Colton Conkle's first two free throws of the ball game. I thought he was going to throw one off the backboard. Had Alex Taylor coming. And <laughs> he was I'm, coming fast. Man, too. can he jump out of the gym. <laughs> so two free throws coming for Conkle. Lonsbury will be checking back for Kajakton. First throw five for Conkle is right through. 
Big third quarter for Colton Conkle, 10 point quarter. Has 16 in the ball game. And make that on uh, the rim and in. 17 for Conkle. Conkle's going to take a break with 107 to play here in the third quarter. 39 28, 11 point lead for Kashakin. With the basketball will be Lane Ratliff. One minute to play in the third. Ratliff goes into the corner. Stevens tries to penetrate. Now gives it back outside to his brother. Then they work an outside. There's going to be a long three ball. And he hits it again. It's going to be Ratliff. He's had four triples in the ball game. That's 12 points. 39-31. Herman brings it down. Now gives it up to Lonsberry. Lonsberry penetrates to Johns. Johns tried to force it inside to Taylor. Taylor almost lost it, picked it up to Johns with 26 seconds. Johns trying to get in. He's going to be bumped and fouled by Corey Adam. And that'll send Antoine Johns the line to shoot two with 25 seconds to play here in the third. Antoine Johns, one of two from the free throw line in the ballgame. John's first throw bounces around and through. A couple bounces and it gets through. John's with six points in the ball game. Conkle looking to get back. 25 seconds to go. 40-31. Shocked a nine-point lead and 10-point lead as Con John's hits them both. Antoine John's with seven points. He'll take a break as Conkle's back with 25 seconds to play. 10-point lead for Kashockton. New Lex with a basketball. Ratliff out front. Gibbles, oh, throws a high to Stevens. I mean, that is from way downtown. That's going to be no good. Rebound comes down out front to Stevens. Stevens with five seconds. Gives it up, penetrates. Nice little up fake at the buzzer. That's going to be no good. And we played three quarters. So after three, the score is Kashokton 41. New Lexington 31. We'll be back. This is high school basketball in WTNS, Kashokton. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Kashokton Materials offers ready-mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Located on County Road 621 in Kashokton, call today for prices and delivery options at 740-722-9015. That's 740-722-9015. This is John from the Warehouse Restaurant in Roscoe Village. The Warehouse is again proud to sponsor the player of the game where they will receive our legendary underrings and our famous cheeseburger. The Warehouse is the place to go before or after the game or the place to be to watch your favorite college or professional team. The Warehouse is open seven days a week, 11 to 9, Monday through Thursday, 11 to 10, Friday and Saturday, and 11 to 5 on Sunday. Good luck to all the area high school teams. 41-31 with getting ready to start period number four here from the Wigwam. Kashokton with a 10-point lead. The Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's player of the game. Tonight's player of the game receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein and Roscoe Village. New Lexington will have the basketball coming out here as we get ready to go to period number four. Inbounding and we're underway. Isaiah Stevens has it for New Lex, goes right side. Ratliff down the corner, out to Stevens and there's Conkle with another steal. Goes down and he's gonna lay it up and in. Colton Conkle, 19 points in the ball game and who knows how many steals. <laughs> With the basketball right side is going to be Ratliff. Ratliff out to Stevens. Stevens gives it up to Stevens. Now it goes out front. There's another three ball. That's going to be no good by Hanson. And rebound to Gage Wright. Right to Conkle. Conkle will bring it for Kachokton down the right side. Thought about it. Now gives it up to Lonsbury. Lonsbury dribbles south front. Gives it to Herman. Herman looking. Now puts it on the deck to Lonsbury. Lonsbury gets pick on the right side. Now back to the center of the floor. He's trying to penetrate inside to Herman. Herman dribbles. Gives it to Conkle. Conkle lets traffic clear. 
Goes inside, will fade away. That's going to be no good. And rebound comes down to number 12, Paul Stenson. Stenson gives it up to Braglin. Braglin has it out front for New Lexington. Still has the basketball, dumps it to Stevens. Now over to Isaiah Stevens. He's going to let a three ball go, and he hits it. He can shoot her, no question about that. He's into double figures with 11 points. Herman has it. And he's going to be fouled by Braglin. So 6.28 to play in the ball game, 43-34. Coshocton with a nine-point lead. Now checking in will be Corey Adam. And coming out will be Jarek Braglin. Ball's inbounded to Herman. Herman crosses the timeline. Dribbles out front. Still looking, still looking. Now the count's on, he's got to move. Now he gets it over to, dumps it down low to Conkle. Conkle loses it down low and passed a little bit out of his range. And here comes Isaiah Stevens. Stevens for Newlex, steps back, lets the three ball go. That's going to be short, no good. Rebound by Stevens. Now back to Isaiah Stevens. Saying Steven, a lot of Stevens is there. And for Coshocton, going to be Lonsbury's going to pick up a foul. So it'll be out of bounds to Newlex underneath the hoop with 5.59 to play in the ball game, 43-34, nine-point Coshocton lead. Dumps it inside, still comes up to New Lex. They missed the shot, and Isaiah Stevens had it, but Conkle gets it. Here comes Conkle in a big hurry behind his back, goes through and gets draws the foul. Just nice, went behind his back, stepped through a defender, and he'll shoot a pair. I think it's one of those deals he kind of got caught, didn't know what to do with it, and yeah. behind his back. Yeah, he kind of had to as the pretty tight defense there. So two shots for Conkle. Conkle's two of two from the line tonight. First throw for Conkle is right through. Conkle now with 20 points in the ball game, leads all scores. 44-34, 10 point lead for Coshocton. Conkle's second throw is good as well. Conkle with 21, back to an 11 point lead at 45-34. Isaiah Stevens. Gets the high pick, now picked up and trying to get into the lane. Puts up a runner and missed the shot, but draws the foul. Did a nice job of splitting the defenders and kind of hung just long enough to shoot a pair of free throws. Isaiah Stevens will head back to the free throw line where he's one of two tonight. Has 11 points. Left these free throws good. Has 12 points in the ball game. Lane Ratliff also with 12 for New Lexington. 45-35, 10 point lead with 5.37 to play. Second throw in and out and back in for Stevens. Has 13, Herman with the basketball. Beats pressure and gets to Conkle, double team. Now he lets traffic clear. Conkle off the dribble, spins to Lonsbury. Lonsbury thought about it, now puts it on the deck. Now goes to Johns. Johns left side to Moore. No, to Herman, excuse me. Herman has it. Trying to work his way in, gets to Johns. Johns with that quickness, forces his way in, draws a two-shot foul. Antoine Johns back to the line to shoot two for Coshocton. Johns three of four from the free throw line in the game. Johns has seven points. First throw by Antoine Johns is good. He now has eight points in the ball game. Getting back will be Braglin, and coming out will be Corey Adam. Antoine Johns gives it a spin. His second throw is on the way and hits them both. Antoine Johns with nine points in the ball game. 47-36. Ratliff brings it across the timeline. 
Picks it up out front to Stevens. He's going to take a long triple. That's going to be no good. But rebounds Braglin. Gives it off to Isaiah Stevens. Dumps it down in a low block. Back out front. It's working the perimeter. And Antoine Johns with a steal. Johns goes in there. He's fouled. And picking up that foul will be Lane Ratliff. And that's a fourth foul. Alex Taylor's going to get back. Great job by Antoine Johns. Just in the passing lane and got it at a full run there and went all the way to the other end. And again, a great steal. Taylor has it, gets it out front to Johns, no to Lonsberry, Lonsberry gets it to Johns, Johns left wing to Herman, Herman off the dribble, gives it up to Lonsberry, thought about it and penetrates, now backs it out for Kishockton, Logan Lonsberry, I think they're going to call foul on holding Conkle. They've been face guarding Conkle, guarding him cold, if you will, to wear no help side defense, and he's been all up in Conkle, and uh, that time they're going to call the foul. He's 13 so he's going to shoot two. So Conkle with the line. So it is a 15 foul already. Conkle 4 of 4 from the free throw line. Comes in now with 21 points. 431 to play in the ball game. 11 point lead for Kashankin at 47-36. Conkle's free throw on the way, that's good. Conkle with 22 tonight. If you're counting, that's 1,020 in his career. Second free throw is in as well, he hits them both. So Conkle gives Kishockton a 13 point lead with 427 to play. Out front's going to be Stevens. Isaiah Stevens double team now picks it up, gets it on the left wing to Braglin, back to Stevens. Antoine Johns guarding him. Now he gets it out to Eli Stevens, just working the corner. High pick, and they dribble out a problem. Almost another steal. Now Isaiah Stevens steps into a three. That's going to be an air ball short, and the ball is out of bounds to Kashokton. So Kishok don't have the basketball. Now looks like Newlex may be putting, applying some full court pressure. So somebody's going to have to come and help, and it's Lonsberry. They'll probably have to have Conkle later. Now Lonsberry's going to be bumped and fouled by Stevens. This could be a steady stream to the foul line here with 3.58 to play. Boy, with a 13 point lead, you hope it's not a steady stream to the free throw line for the last four minutes of the ball game. But Shockton shooting free throws very well here. It'll be Logan Lonsberry, his first free throws of the night. So Lonsberry has six points, hit those first those three balls early, and he rattles the first one home. Lonsberry now with seven. And New Lexington wants a full timeout, so we'll break away and be back. This is high school basketball on WTNS, Coshockton. Tax season just got a whole lot better at Jeff Dren and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Turbocharge your refund with incredible deals like 15000 off Jeep Gladiators, 14000 off Ram Heavy Duties, and over 10000 off a Ram 1500 regular cab. Upgrade your ride without breaking the bank. Hurry in today at Jeff Dren and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Otsego Avenue and drive home with a little more left in your pocket. Shop 24-7 online at Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Coshocton. And remember, if you're looking for a new ride, storm tell them. It's time to talk to my Uncle Seth. All right, we're back, 50-36. Kishockton has, has a 14-point lead. There's 3.58 to play. Yeah, uh, Kishockton just doing a great job. And, and again, with them being in the bonus here with uh, 3.58 to play, they will be shooting a lot of free throws here towards the end of the game. But again, shooting the free throws very well here tonight and doing a great job of getting to the basket and you know, having to, uh, don't have many negative things to say about Kishokton's play tonight. You know, really the other side is, and I can't remember exactly what they had in the first half with, from the turnover department. Looks like eight turnovers, and they've only had three, or only uh, three here in the second half. Yeah, taking care of the basketball very well, and uh, Colton Conkle doing a great job, even being guarded cold and, and just, uh, you know, denying him the whole time, doing a great job. So Lonsbury at the line, shooting a second, and he gets them both. Logan Lonsbury with eight points in the ball game makes it now a 15 point lead at 51 36. Stevens has it, penetrates all the way, kicks it over in the corner. 
Now they back it out. Braglin dumps it down on a low block to Stevens, trying to force his way in. Now he kicks it out for a wide open look for a triple. Back iron no good. And Alex Taylor rebounds the basketball and gets it to Lonsbury. Lonsbury breezes it across the timeline. Now sets it up and gives it to Herman. 3.32 to play in the ballgame. Herman's going to be bumped and fouled by Stinson. He'll shoot a pair. J.J. Herman, I believe, one of two from the free throw line. Herman. His first throw is through. Has two points in the ball game. 3.31 to play. 16-point lead at 52-36. 53-36 as Herman hits them both. Here comes Isaiah Stevens with 3.26 to play. Stevens off the dribble. Now comes, comes to Eli Stevens. He forces his way through. Nice backdoor cut, and ball's blocked by Kashokton. Gets it back, puts it up, missed it, and there's a foul called. So he'll be at the line to shoot two will be Isaiah Stevens. Isaiah Stevens, three of four from the free throw line in this ball game. Isaiah Stevens. His first throw is good. 14 points in the ball game for Stevens. 53-37. And hits them both. And Kobe Moore will get back. Alex Taylor will sit. 53-38. Full court pressure. Antoine Johns will be the inbounder. They get it into Lonsbury. Let's traffic clear a little bit. Now beats people down the sideline. Lonsbury dumps it to Kobe Moore. Moore goes in and scores. Kobe Moore takes to the hoop and gets the basket. He has four points. 55-38. Into the corner it goes. Out front goes. Stevens with a three. That's going to be no good. And Conkle rebounds the ball and is fouled. So Eli Stevens missed the shot and... Colton Conkle grabbed the rebound. He'll head back to the free throw line where he's six of six tonight. Conkle six of six from the line, has 23 points. Bentley Cunningham looking to get back in. Colton Conkle. His first throw on the rim and trickles in. And Cunningham's in. Lonsbury will take a break with 56, an 18 point lead now at 56 38, with 2.52 to play in the ball game. Conkle's second throw is good as well. Conkle with 25, 19 in the second half. Stevens off the dribble, backs it out, now he gives it up. To his brother, ball's deflected, almost stolen by Johns. He gets his hands on a lot of basketballs. Shockton moves to that zone defense there, and they do a great job of getting a hand on a ball. Thresher checks, Thresher checks in. 2.42 to play. Stevens will be the inbounder. Goes over in the corner. Trying to force his way in is going to be Braglin. Little fadeaway jumper is out, no good. Ball's rebounded, missed again, and this time Cunningham rebounds it. Shot Thresher missed the shot. Cunningham has it. Now he gets it over to Herman. Herman will bring it across the timeline. Left side to Conkle. Conkle has it out front with 2.20 to play and has the ball deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with Kashokton. 2.20 to play. Kashokton leading 57-38. Cunningham will be the inbounder. Gets it to Herman. Herman off the dribble, goes right side. Now he gives it to Kobe Moore out front, just letting a little time run. Kobe penetrates all the way inside, now picks it up, out to Cunningham. Dribbles to the left wing and hands it off to Herman. Herman off the dribble, works his way in, dumps it down low. Cunningham a little shot, and he drops it down, gets his first basket. Nice dish and a basket for Bentley Cunningham, and it's now 59-38. Where the ball is going to be Stevens and Conkle is going to pick up the foul. So New Lex will have the basketball on the far side line, I believe. To know where they, no, it looks like it's going to be underneath with 150 to play. 
Trying to get it in. Still looking. Still looking. Now they pog through it. They're stolen away. Well, guess who? Conkle. Conkle all the way. Spin move. Little jumper. About the rim. No good. But there's Antoine Johns in the follow up. No good. Kobe Moore keeps it alive and scores it. Kobe Moore grabbing the offensive board. 61 38. 132 to play. Stevens has it. Left wing. Now into the corner. Back out front. Penetrating. It's going to be Stevens. Now he gives it up. Three ball is going to be good, I believe, by 12. And hitting that shot was Paul Stinson. It's Kashockton has Cunningham with the basketball. To Herman, 105 to play here in the ball game. 61-41, 20-point lead. Kobe Moore has it. Running some clock as they are under a minute to go. Moore takes it, dumps it down low. Cunningham a little jumper and hits it again. Nice little give and go. And Bentley Cunningham with back-to-back -back baskets. And 63-41 with 47 seconds to go. And picking up that foul be Antoine Johns. And that'll be the 15th foul for Kashockton. So Isaiah Stevens will head to the free throw line where he's five of six tonight. Jonathan getting Gage right back in here in a moment. And Stevens first throw is good. He has 16 points and Colton Conkle coming out to a standing O from the home side here and getting his 1,000th point and big hug from dad. And Braxton will be checking in and also knocking it, and Stevens will knock down another free throw. Braxton checks in, Antoine Johns will come out. 63-43 with 44 seconds to play. Herman has the basketball, has the ball stripped from behind, turns it over and thought about it. Now Stevens lets a triple go, that's gonna be no good. Following up and getting the basket will be Paul Stinson. Stinson now with eight points in the game and wide open and laying it in is going to be Bra Aiden Braxton gets a basket for Kashockton. Kashockton, a monster second half inside and scoring is going to be Lane Ratliff, 14 points for him. Now with eight seconds to go and he's just going to dribble it out and that's going to be the ball game and Kashockton has defeated New Lexington here this evening by a score of 65 to 47. We'll be back and tell you about it. This is High School Basketball, WTNS, Coshocton. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation of Coshocton provides personalized health care that makes a difference. If you've been suffering from neck or back pain, chiropractic care is a non-invasive treatment that can help you feel better. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation is proud to provide patients with advanced physical medicine. This type of rehabilitation is focused on enhancing and restoring the functional abilities of those suffering from physical impairments. To schedule your appointment, call Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation at 291-8100 or stop by 112 Chestnut Street in Coshocton. Claxon Custom Printing and Promotions is a proud supporter of high school athletics. Contact Casey Claxon or Judd Bone at ClaxonPrinting.com for printed t-shirts, embroidery, and branded promotional products for your booster club or business. They can also help your team set up an online fundraising store to sell your team apparel to fans all across the country. Visit ClaxonPrinting.com or call 740-623-2145. I'm Stacy Rice from Coshocton Collision Center. Winter driving can be hazardous, so be careful when you drive and the weather turns bad. If you have an accident, come to Coshocton Collision Center. We use the latest environmentally friendly paint products from PPG. We put you the customer first by using these products to preserve our environment. We complete auto body repairs as promised, offer free computerized estimates, and guarantee our work. For all your body repair needs, come to Coshocton Collision Center, 225 Main Street in Town Center, Coshocton, across from Wilson's Carpet and Furniture, or call 623-7347. 
Jeff Drennan Ford is your destination for the largest selection of new and pre-owned vehicles in the county. If we don't have what you're looking for, let us know and we'll go find it. We also have a large selection of certified vehicles. A certified vehicle gives you peace of mind on your purchase with a better interest rate, three-month, 3,000-mile warranty, 24-hour roadside assistance, and a 14-day money-back guarantee. Stop by Jeff Drennan Ford and experience the difference for yourself. With the largest selection of new and pre-owned vehicles in the area, there's no reason to drive out of town for your next vehicle. Shop 24-7 at jeffdrennanford.com or stop by 801 South 2nd Street in Coshocton. Think you have to settle for mediocre car insurance to save money? Think again. It's possible to get superior coverage and still save money with Erie Insurance. Customers who switched to Erie saved up to $951. It pays to compare. Switch and save with Erie. Your local Erie agent in Coshocton is Albertson Lawrence Agency. Get a quote today. Annual savings based on new customer survey to March 2022 who reported savings when switching auto insurance. Individual premiums and savings will vary. Coshocton Dentistry offers professional, state-of-the-art dental care in a small-town practice. Dr. Brian Dunlap and Dr. Patrick Lopper and their entire team are dedicated to educating you with the help of digital technology to give personalized dental care that you deserve. Their 80-20 club celebrates their practice mission with over 115 members this fall who are over 80 years old and have 20 of their own remaining teeth. Keeping your teeth for a lifetime in maximum comfort function, and aesthetics is achievable as the mission states. Coshocton Dentistry is currently accepting new patients. To schedule your appointment with the local professionals at Coshocton Dentistry, give them a call at 622-5774 or stop by 448 Main Street in Coshocton. Visit their website at coshoctondentistry.com. We're back here and it, at the Wigwam, and Coshocton has defeated New Lexington 65 to 47. Coshocton jumped out in front early. They led 14 to 10 at the end of the first break, stretched it to 22 16 at the half, but a big third quarter well, that, that pushed them out another two points to 41 31. 10 point lead going to the fourth quarter, but a big fourth quarter, and Coshocton comes out with a 65-47 win here tonight over New Lexington. Taking a look at individual scoring first for New Lexington, Isaiah Stevens led the way. He had 17 points in the ball game. He had two triples, two two-point field goals, and seven free throws for that 17-point total. Also getting involved, Lane Ratliff had 16 points on. He had four three-point field goals and two two-pointers for his 16-point total. Rounding out the scoring, Paul Stinson had eight points and – Jarek Braglin, Bentley Hansen, Eli Stevens, and Malachi Thresher all had two points. That is the 47-point total for New Lexington. For Coshocton, it was Colton Conkle. It was a Colton Conkle night all the way around as he scored 25 points, went over 1,000 points for his career, and led the way for the Redskins in this win as he scored those 25 points. He had only one uh, three-point field goal tonight. He did have six, two, seven two-point field goals and six free throws for his 25-point total. Just missing double figures was Antoine Johns, who had nine points. Logan Lonsbury had eight. Six points apiece for Alex Taylor and Kobe Moore. Four points for Bentley Cunningham. Three points for J.J. Herman. Two points for Gage Wright. And two points for Aiden Braxton. That is the 65-point total for Coshocton here this evening. Now with the final team numbers, here's Chris Wallace. Thank you very much, Coos. As you mentioned, Coshocton a winner over New Lex, 65 to 47. From three-point land, New Lex was 8 of 25, shooting 32%. Coshocton was 3 of 10, shooting 30%. Two-point field goals, New Lex was 7 of 19, shooting 36%. Coshocton was 18 of 28, shooting 64%. From the free throw line, New Lex was 9 of 10, shooting 90%. Coshocton was 18 of 21, shooting 85%. In the rebounding department, it was New Lex out-rebounding Coshocton 24 to 23. And turnovers, New Lex had 17, Coshocton with 12. Taking a look at individual rebounds in the ballgame first for New Lexington. Leading the way with six big rebounds, Lane Ratliff. With four rebounds apiece, Paul Stinson, Malachi Thresher, and Eli Stevens. With three rebounds, we had Isaiah Stevens, Two rebounds to Corey Adam and one rebound to Bentley Hansen. Now taking a look for Coshocton, leading the way with five big rebounds, Logan Lonsberry. Four rebounds go to Kobe Moore. Three rebounds to Antoine Johns. Two rebounds to Bentley Cunningham, Gage Wright, and Colton Conkle. And one rebound apiece to J.J. Herman and Alex Taylor. 
Well, I'll tell you what, an impressive win for Kashaka, and it was one of those games. Uh, New Lex got him down at their place. New Lex is the is the champion of the lower division, but you know they they were ready to play here tonight. Got a big win, and I think that's a big confidence builder as they head into the uh, tournament action here in another week or so. I think you're exactly right. A big confidence booster playing a good team like New Lexington, and. Uh, you know, right before tournament, so uh, definitely a big time here. And I tell you what, if you're able to watch on the YouTube channel, Colton Conkle had a, a group around of him like he was an NBA star signing autographs over here and everybody with their Conkle shirts on. So a big night for the history of Coshocton basketball. Nice to bring a lot of players back and honor them at halftime as well. And uh, just a big night in the wigwam, a lot of great fans and uh, some people we haven't seen in quite some time. And great job to Colton Conkle as he can't make his way to the locker room without people trying to get pictures with him and of him. And so he's going to jog off the court there. <laughs> but, again, a great game for the Redskins, a big victory right before tournament time, exactly where you want to be uh, going into tournament time. You know, one thing I, I liked about Kashakin tonight over the last game we had was West Muskingum is, you know, blew that 18-point lead there in the second half, shooting a couple uh, crazy three-pointers tonight. Uh, you know, they were only three of ten tonight shooting three-pointers and just did a great job taking care of the basketball and finishing out a game uh, as you would want going into tournaments. Uh, that's a, you know, that's probably the best point right there, Chris. You're absolutely right about that. You know, they did have that struggle with West Muskingum. Let a big lead get away from them, but tonight they wouldn't have nothing, uh, nothing to do with that. They just controlled everything the entire evening and, you know, get out of here with a win. Absolutely, a big win for Shockton and a big win for the program, and especially here again at the end of the season. So uh, a great game played by Shockton. Really was. So last order of business for us here this evening is going to be the uh, Warehouse Steak and Stein player of the game, and I guess it's guess who? <laughs> Colton Conkle. <laughs> so Colton Conkle will be the winner with that 25 points, going over 1,000 points as well, and just – you know, a ton of steals, uh, you know, just got an official stat sheet just brought to me a few minutes ago. Steals tonight. Uh, let's see what he had. It looks like um, eight steals tonight. So, Ooh. I mean, that's that's what he does. Almost a double-double with steals. So, he'll be the recipient of a gift certificate. Good for a famous warehouse cheeseburger and onion rings courtesy of Warehouse Steak and Stein in Roscoe Village. I want to thank the Claxon Communication crew for being here tonight. Judd Bone, Aiden Garbrandt doing the camera work. Also, Ellen Hardesty comes in tonight and helps us back at WTNS Central. My partner's Chris Wallace. Once again, the final score, Coshocton improves to 15-6 and six on the season as they defeat, de defeat New Lexington by a score of 65-47. to 47. I'm Steve Corries. Have a nice night, everyone. This is John from the Warehouse Restaurant in Roscoe Village. The Warehouse is again proud to sponsor the player of the game where they will receive our legendary under rings and our famous cheeseburger. The Warehouse is the place to go before or after the game or the place to be to watch your favorite college or professional team. The Warehouse is open seven days a week, 11 to 9, Monday through Thursday, 11 to 10, Friday and Saturday, and 11 to 5 on Sunday. Good luck to all the area high school teams. Thank you for joining us for this WTNS Sports Broadcast. Audio CDs are available by calling WTNS Radio at 740-622-1560. WTNS Coshocton. We are the sports voice of East Central Ohio.